Hello, Facebook, YouTube. God gave me a great, interesting revelation. Well, a revelation that, you know, uh, that uh, I came to understand, but people don't really need, people need to really see this because I look at people and I say, oh, another prisoner. <laughs> In my spirit, I see bond like bondage and, you know, prisoners, bondage of the things of this world, bondage of, you know, sin, bondage. What you don't realize when you are a bondage of sin and a bondage, I mean, and, and watch this, when you're, or, or more like the topic of this message, the reality of, of either your purpose or a prison. Either fulfill your purpose or be a prisoner. It's just that simple. You know what I'm saying? Really, of reality. But, see, look, y'all, this Satan did a successful job in conducting a system to make you believe, people believe that they're, they're not in a prison. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they put these prisons that people, you know, people do bad things and they lock them up in prison and say, oh, these people are in prison. Now, you get out in the world, you know what I'm saying? And you see people, you know, check this out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, you see all these cars are stuck in traffic over here. Are they in a prison or they're free? Now, the ideal of true freedom that you must understand is that you have the freedom to do whatever you can do. You know what I'm saying? You have a freedom. You know what I'm saying? Like, if this car wanted to take off to his destination, it will have the freedom and just take off. It will just take off. There's, you know, but he can't because people are in his way, you know? He can't move. He cannot fulfill the purpose of what his car is created for. Or more likely, you can't fulfill the purpose. When you don't fulfill the purpose that you're created for, you are in a prison. And that's what Satan has did a great job in deceiving a lot of people. Now watch this. Oh, you got a job. <laughs> oh my God, this is the crazy prison. People don't see it as a prison. They think, you know, oh, hey, I got a job and I have the freedom to, you know, I have a, 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 a idea of accumulating money. You know what I'm saying? And I'm free. You know, I'm free to uh, do things concerning what I want to do. You know, y'all know that during prison, that job ain't no true freedom. You know, but guess what? This world system has successfully, you know what I'm saying, uh, develop a system to have y'all thinking that y'all supposed to be working. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? God, you know, uh, the Bible talks about entering the day of rest. You know what I'm saying? That we're supposed to enter into and labor into the day of rest. And the thing is, people need to understand that we are not the ideal of us truly being of God that the church don't understand. The true idea of being of God is to show forth the idea of entering into the day of rest. And the problem is people are not entering into the day of rest uh, or the church haven't entered into the day of rest because they're, of course, disobeying the word of God. I mean, if the, if the vision makes sense, in a church system that people think they're supposed to be operating into. I mean, how are you going to tell them that they're supposed to be resting, you know, and um, uh, not working anymore, according to Hebrews 4. In Hebrews 4, it talks about, you know, the idea that we labor to the day of rest, which that that is not happening, that's not occurring. But if you're not entering the day of rest that you, the rest at the seventh day, the seventh day, the Sabbath, the sabbatical, you know what I'm saying? If you're not entering into that, you are really a prisoner. You're going to be either or. you either going to enter the day of rest or you're going to be a prisoner to a system that is going contrary to the things of God, which what this system, I hope you know, is doing to the utmost way. And it's crazy how people are, you know, yielding to this false system. And thinking that they have freedom, you know what I'm saying? Thinking that freedom is somewhere here. No, there's no freedom in this 
terrible system. There's only bondage and bondage and people are getting into more bondage and more bondage and more bondage as much as that they do not see that they're in a prison because every everybody's in a prison i'm in a prison right now and i'm prison in a world system that people are not uh you know understanding that or well, the church is going to keep us in a prison if they don't not fulfill their purpose that god has called them to is to enter the day of rest that's in hebrews 4 you know what i'm saying that we're supposed to believe and have faith and labor to the rest, you know what I'm saying, that really is supposed to be established in fellowship. Fellowship is supposed to establish the rest that, you know, it says in uh, Ephesians uh, 3 that it talks about the mystery, the, the fellowship of the mystery of fellowship. It talks about the mystery of fellowship that was hidden in, well, that was in the beginning. And that beginning is supposed to be the seventh day. The seventh day. Uh, the seven day rest is really what it's talking about that the fellowship is supposed to get us to the seventh day of rest that we're supposed to rest from everything that we're supposed to be doing that is commanded in Acts 2.42 that we do the apostle doctrine fellowship breaking the bread and prayer that, that nobody's not questioning nobody's not analyzing they're just accepting everything for what is given to them and think that they're experiencing some kind of freedom you're not experiencing no kind of freedom. You are a prisoner. You're going to stay in a prison regardless, I mean, until you understand what you need to be doing to get yourself out of prison. That I'm trying to help you understand this. This here is a prison and it will always be a prison. Look at these cars. Just prison. You know what I'm saying? Stuck. Stuck in a system that is not functionally the way it's supposed to function. That's how you get in the prison. And we're in a prison. But thank God, God has a plan to get everybody out of prison very soon when God, you know, when the kingdom comes and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. But that's the message. I hope you got it. It's God be glory. Him forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.